Mr. Pitt? That is my name. It's so hard adapting Dickens because the characters are so familiar and how do you make them feel new and vibrant and fresh? We're very blessed in that we have this incredible new version of the play by Tanika Gupta and what is um, so exciting and so inspiring about this adaptation is that it really feels like a brand new play. No one must know I'm here. No one and it feels original and inventive and very, very relevant and very contemporary. I cannot wish to renew that chance meeting I had with you long ago. Our ways are different ways. Most new playwrights nowadays are writing for four actors in a box set and Tanika has given us a play that spans 25 years with a whole multitude of um, the, the, the famous Dickensian characters that you love and recognise, but absolutely with a, a contemporary twist. Obviously Dickens was a political writer, although you know, he wanted to entertain and his, 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 his novels were published in a kind of serial form, so they were, they were kind of like, a, I guess, the first ever soap opera, if you like, but also he was, he was a political animal and he was writing um, against the injustice that he saw around him in this, in this very city we're in today. And I think he was dealing with class prejudice and how young people are, how their nurture, how their upbringing affects the course of their, you know, the rest of their lives. I have put away a lot of money for you to spend. Every time I met, every night before I went to sleep, I would see your face looking at me. That poor orphan, low caste boy, the cobbler's boy. And now, <laughs> I am looking at you. And looking at these lodgings of yours, fit for a king. And you can read all these English books, can you? Or you shall read them to me, Pip. I'll be proud that I made you a gentleman. Pip's great expectations are to become an English gentleman. Yes, my Pip. I've made an English gentleman of you. The tragedy is that then he's kind of caught between being a young Indian man, kind of dressed in these English um, clothes, which is a very odd dichotomy. But did you never, ever think it might be me? Never. Never! And he thinks in order to get the girl, he needs to be like the girl and ape the world and the environment that she exists in. <laughs> You know, and it's an incredible story, a journey, really, that spans 25 years of this young boy's life as he moves from an Indian village to Calcutta and accedes his, to his great expectations. <laughs>